Hello guys, today in India, uh, Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations are coming to an end. Uh, so uh, a lot of money exchange, a lot of spirituality, a lot of employment, a lot of celebration goes on to Ganesh Chaturthi in India. And this is one of the most famous celebrations that happens all over the country. And after coming to the end of these celebrations, I wanted to question myself what I have learned from this uh, festival basically. Because in India, uh, any festival is not just a festival. If you are ready to learn, every festival, every celebration will just teach you some or the other kind of lesson that you can learn for your life. Uh, I just wanted to look at the life of Ganesha as a general person, not as a god or a celebrated person in India. Not like that, just as a, a normal human being just like you and me once look normally at his life the thing here is his life is a series of disasters continuous disasters in his life first thing is uh, his own father killed him the second thing is uh, for a white small body he got a huge elephant head which is actually weird to look at or to imagine actually so after that he became very obese eating a lot he, he cannot play and jump with the other children and uh, there is an assistant uh, with his father called Chandra. That guy always laughs at him. In, in everybody in his home has very good vehicles like his father had a bull, his mother had a lion, his brother had a peacock. But he gets a rat, which is pure injustice. So you can just look at him, everything is disaster, failure, failure and failure. But he didn't commit any suicide. What he does is he's just waiting for his own opportunity and on a fine day Vyasa Maharshi came to him asking to write Mahabharata. Ganesh asked why only me? Vyasa replied, I observed that you are the only one who are intelligent enough to write what I can say. So Ganesha okay, thought that this, that this is an opportunity to prove myself. So he went with Vyasa. Vyasa closed his eyes and started narrating Mahabharata of 1 lakh slokas. So while writing in between, uh, the pen got broken, so he didn't want to stop it, but so he, he broke his own tusk and wrote it, uh, wrote a Mahabharata, complete Mahabharata with that. He completed one, one lakh slokas of Mahabharata, it's not a joke. So then people started to recognize him, then he became a god and everything. So why I'm, I'm, why I'm trying to tell all this to you is, recently in the Telangana state, almost 22 children committed suicides because uh, because they are unable to get the result, expected results in their intermediate examinations. So Ganesha is also a kid just like you and me. He also faced many failures. Inter failing in intermediate examination is really a small thing when compared to the disasters or the failures that Ganesha really faced in his life. So success always takes time. So uh, this is the lesson I learned from the Ganesha because uh, though you have failures, you must wait for your own opportunity and the opportunity knocks your door. Just open the door and welcome that. You must, uh, you must be first alive to welcome the opportunity that comes to you. So this is the lesson I have learned and I, I want all the people who have these suicidal tendencies, uh, who are afraid of failures, to also learn the same lesson. See, for me personally, anything that doesn't teach anything to you is worthless in this world. So for this Ganesh Chaturthi, let's all take our life seriously. Don't give up because of small, small failures. Ganesha is the biggest example. And if he committed suicide on that day when he faced failures, we will not worship him today. So to get worshipped, first you have to face failures and you must be courageous enough to get out of them. So that's all for today. See you. Bye.